Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lose again and I am here with another new tutorial after a long time I'm in front of the camera maybe two weeks and I'm with another new Premiere Pro tutorial actually in this tutorial I'll show you uh, how to create the glaze logo effect and this is the easiest way to do it so this time I'm here with a very important and easy tutorial let's jump into the Premiere Pro of course Okay, at first um, uh, you need to import the logo. I have already made my logo and just drop it to the timeline. Simple. So this is my logo. Okay. Okay. Make the timeline little bit bigger. Okay. You can make the timeline like bigger or smaller by uh, dragging this one. So it's pretty simple. Okay. That's good. Now pick the razor tool and uh, make some cards like around six. Okay, it depends on you actually if you want uh, the effect a little bit longer Then you should cut more. I think six is fine. Six is great. So let's do it So I'm going to cut it from here just after one frame make another then one frame make another two Oops three four five and six i think this is done so these are my six cards okay now select the selection tool again and delete some cards so uh just select the part which you want to delete i am deleting the first one and now press the uh, delete bar on your screen sorry on your keyboard okay so press delete then the third one and the last one it's done the uh, first step is done okay now select the first clip and i want to copy it so for you know you know the uh, method of copying just select this press and hold alter and click and drag like this now you'll find another cards here so select the new one the upper one okay so this is my the new parts okay and now coming to the effects control option you find this here the effect controls and now i want to uh, decrease the opacity around uh, maybe where is the opacity yeah this is uh, so decrease the opacity around 50 percent maybe i think 50 percent is fine and now i want to change the position so come into the position and just click and drag so i think i am happy with around look at this look at the changes you can go here you can go here you can go up you can go down so it depends on you you can uh, sense like you you can scale up scale down you can go right you can go left so i'm going to the left so i'm happy with the i think this is 893 894 it, it doesn't matter actually okay so this one is done now coming to the second one so select the second uh, clips and make a copy again press and hold alter click and drag like this okay that's done and again select the uh, the upper second one and decrease the opacity around 50 to 52 percent okay 52 percent that's good and now again change the position so let's go with let's go with left again i'm going with left you can go to the right okay choose the right path uh and and this time i have to make this a little bit bigger also so i would increase the scale value okay i'm going with around 120 look at this i think this is fine so the second one is done now come to the third one again make a copy of it you know the simple things okay now select the third one again and i want to apply the arithmetic effects yes the arithmetic effects on this clip uh, so so apply the arithmetic effects you can uh, go the effects window or you can find it from here easily just search here arithmetic and you will find this uh, the effect arithmetic just click and drag it to the drag it to your clips like this and now come into the effects control option again make sure you have selected the clips and now you will find the arithmetic effects on the effects control option okay now i have to change the operator to max 
okay that's fine and i want to increase the red value look at this look at the red valves okay i'm going with 255 it's the highest value okay again if you want red color then increase the red value if you want green color then increase the green value just like this look at this just increase the green value and look at this it's beautiful okay uh you can apply the uh, two colors at the same time also just copy it again and change the uh, color value so if you want the blue color then increase the blue value that's fine but it's not the right idea <laughs> okay so increase the uh, red value that's fine and now i want to change the blending mode to linear dos that's great okay now i want to change the position this also okay so everything i go left so this time also i'm going left i think this is i think this is fine okay i think it is done the effect is done the glaze effect is done really it's done okay so this is the basic thing this is the basic process this is the basic procedure if you want the glaze effect wise just follow the same procedure after a few seconds or after a few frames just follow it it's very simple do experiment and pick your color make some uh, you can add some overlay you can add some dust that's very easy so this is the basic thing and this is the main concept let's let's have a look actually look at this look at this it's very simple it's very simple but it looks very dull because there is no sound there is no glaze sound without the sound without the audio the glaze effect is very boring okay uh, okay you can find the glaze sound on youtube very easily just search glaze sound uh, you will find a lot of sounds in the youtube so that's very simple i'm using maybe uh, my my intros audio so this audio i'm using this audio okay so okay drag the audio and i want just only this part on this part i don't need all this one so let's say that's not a bad idea actually it's need to correct some area here and there and let's see i think this is fine you need to just find out the right audio and mix with it it's 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 on you so this is the way you can easily create glaze uh, logo effect glaze intro this is a very simple way i hope you love this technique and if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>